Hello boys and girls and welcome to my preview of the Chelsea versus Arsenal game. Um, this game is going to be very, very interesting. Um, it's going to be one of those games where you remember the last time we played against Chelsea at Stamford Bridge, we lost. Um, but this time around, Chelsea got a few changes. Antonio Conte is now not their manager. Um, they have a new manager now, uh, Syria, or whatever his name is. Um, they've now got him. There is still concerns about uh, Hazard, whether he's going to leave Chelsea um, or whether or not he's going to stay at Chelsea. Um, so, yeah, there's going to be a lot of a lot of changes at Stamford Bridge this, uh, this season. I think I think now I predicted that Chelsea's going to end up fifth in the league, and uh, I think that's a very honest a very honest prediction. Um, but our, uh, Chelsea got off to a good start to their season. We got a nice good home win against Huddersfield, three nil. Brilliant performance from Chelsea. I thought they played well considering their circumstances at the moment. Um, Arsenal didn't get a very good result against um, Man City. We lost 2-0. Um, it was a very positive game. I could see the changes that Unai Emery is kind of changing for Arsenal. Um, I know he wants to start off from the back and then head up to the front. Um, the pressing game is very, very different to what it was last season. So I can see exactly where Unai Emery is going to take, to take us forward. Now... Arsenal fans have got to, we've got to be very very patient with Unai Emery at the moment. Um, Unai Emery is he's got a, you look at you look at Man City, you look at Pep Guardiola when he first came into Man City. It took him about three four transfer windows to get the team the way he wants it, and then he and then he went on and won the Premier League title with Man City. Arsenal, we do actually need that same sort of thing. Um, I think Unai Emery needs a couple of years to get to get off and to get to the, get a team the way he wants it. And I do think that Unai Emery, we've got to give him at least four years. And I reckon Unai Emery will probably go with uh, four transfer windows, probably three or four transfer windows to get the team to finally to his um, to his way and the way he wants it, and get the players in the uh, and let them perform to the way he wants it now. Talking about that, actually, a statement came out from Unai Emery. Um, it's on my Instagram page, which is Arsenal um, Arsenal TV Media. I shared it on there, uh, as well as my Arsenal TV Facebook page. Um, Unai Emery has said that some of the Arsenal players need to lose weight um, because they're not quick enough. Um, he also said that... Uh, Arsenal players need to lose weight. They need to lose at least uh, 1.3 kilograms. And they also um, need to get a speed up to 28.9 uh, kilometers an hour. And that's roughly a quarter, that's about a quarter of a mile uh, going backwards and forwards each, each game. That is Unai Emery's expectations and what he wants from Arsenal. I do still reckon Arsenal will probably end up third this season. Not very optimistic, but I, I'll be happy with third place for Arsenal this season. Chelsea, I can only see Chelsea getting 50, the fifth place this season in the Premier League. Um, I reckon they'll probably get a, a good FA Cup win, maybe. Um, you know, it's, it's early days yet. It's very, very early days. Um, so, guys, I'm going to give you my predicted 1-11 to 11 for this game. And, um, uh, yeah, there is going to be a few changes. Um, we know our left-back position is very, very crucial right now. Um, Maitland-Niles is now out injured for eight weeks, I believe. Um, six to eight weeks. Um, a report came in that that Ainsley Maitland-Niles has actually fractured um, one of his bones um, from that Man City game where and that collision that he had with Carl Walker. Um, so yeah, he's not gonna he's gonna be out. Um, Nacho Monreal is back in full fitness training, uh, so hopefully it looks like he could be playing for Chelsea. Um, and as we know, that C. Kolesnik is also injured. He's out. Uh, for between 8 to 10 weeks so it looks like Monreal will definitely be playing for the Chelsea game so guys I'm going to get into my 1 to 11 in goal I'm going to go with Bernard Lino pretty simple choice the reason why is because I can see the way Unai Emery is going from backwards to for, uh, backwards to front and with, with the with the push to get out um, I do think that Czech 
shouldn't be in goal if he's going to play with that sort of style of play. Petr Cech should definitely not be in goal. Um, ben Ardlino, for me, will definitely go in goal for this game. He needs a good Premier League start. He needs a start. So, Ben Ardlino goes in goal. Playing at right back is going to be Lynchsteiner. I was very, very impressed with him. Very, very impressed when he came on. Um, he literally marked um, Mares and couldn't keep it couldn't keep away from him. Um, Mares struggled with with Lynchsteiner and getting and trying to get away from him. Um, but Lynchsteiner really did push him, and uh, I'm very happy f- with the way he's performing so far. So Lynchsteiner goes at right back. Playing uh, with the two centre-backs, um, w- the first centre-back is going to be Socrates. I do think that Socrates does need another Premier League start underneath his belt. Um, I wasn't fully impressed with him over the Man City game, but it's early days. As I said, it's early days yet. So, yeah, Socrates will go at the back. He's still a so- he, he is a still... Uh, he's still a solid defender for me, and I think he's experienced. He does. He doesn't care if he takes yellow cards. He don't. He doesn't really care. So Socrates will go in there. Playing alongside um, Socrates is going to be Mustafi. Um, now for me, I thought Mustafi had a decent game against City. He did try his best, but as I said in the other game, uh, as I said in the other preview for the Man City game. This is going to be a very, very important season for Mustafi because if he puts in the performances like he did last season, he's going to be heading out. I can see, I can see um, Unai Emery shipping him out and selling him, but he put in a decent performance in for uh, for Man City, so I'll definitely stick him in there again. So Mustafi goes in there. Playing at left back is going to be Nacho Monreal. Simple reason is Ainsley Maitland-Niles is now injured, um, so he can't go in there. Um, C. Kolesianek is injured, so Monreal will have to go in there. So Monreal will go in there. I thought there is one thing I'm going to say. Monreal had a really, really solid get, uh, solid season last season. Um, I thought he was our best player throughout the season. Um, not just that when he got his injury and he came back, he was a bit unweary of what he used to be. So I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go. Um, Monreal at left back. Now, as the two holding, as the two holding midfielders, the two defensive midfielders, I am the first person I'm going in uh, is going to be Lucas Torreira. Um, I was very, very impressed with him. The way his movement, the way his passing was, uh, the Man City game. He really did change it up a little bit uh, when. When he took, when sorry, when Unai Emery took off Aaron Ramsey. So, yeah, I was very impressed with. Um, I was very impressed with Lucas Torreira when he played for Man City for the minutes that he got. So I reckon he should start this game. Um, so Torreira goes in there. Playing alongside Lucas Torreira is going to be Gwendozi, the young 19-year-old. He put in a very, very good, decent performance for his first competitive game. Um, I thought he played very, very well. Um, he did make some sloppy errors here and there, but it's something that he needs to work on and learn on. Um, apart from that, I thought he was probably one of the best players on the pitch um, during that Man City game. He really, really did try and uh, he got the ball cleared away. He won three tackles and he won three fouls. So I'm very, very impressed with, with the way he was and his composure. So Gwen Dozy goes in there. Playing as the free now, over onto the right side is going to be Aaron Ramsey. I was impressed with Aaron Ramsey over the Man City game because he really did try and press that ball and try and shut down, um, try and shut down Man, Man City's defence. Um, he really when they was when Man City was in possession. So I was very very pleased with Aaron Ramsey, and I reckon Ramsey probably would be captain for the Chelsea game. Um, only problem I've got with Ramsey right now, he needs to sign that contract because it's getting really on my nerves now. Um, I don't care if I hear that, oh, Ramsey's close in signing his deal. Look, I don't care about that. I want to know if he signed it, then it's it's all that. So that's fine for me. I don't care if I see a, if I see Arsenal sharing saying, oh, Aaron Ramsey's close in signing his deal. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. I want to see Ramsey... With the photo, sign these contracts to say that he's confirmed a deal. Simple as that. So, Ramsey goes at right back. Playing in the middle as a number 10 is going to be Mizzet Ozil. Mizzet has played well. Um, he didn't put in the best performance at Man City, but 
He did okay. He did okay. He didn't put the best performance in, but he done all right. Um, I reckon that we are from. I reckon this season we are going to see some decent performances from um, from Özil. Um, and I reckon Özil is going to be probably one of our best assists um, players this season. So I reckon he's going to be he's going to do very very well for us this season. So Özil goes in at number ten in the middle. Playing on the left is going to be Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. Um, Playing with against Man City, I thought Aubameyang was a bit isolated at, at the front. Um, he wasn't. I, I say he wasn't confident. I don't think he was that confident at front. Um, so, to be honest, I thought he played better when Lacazette came on in the second half of the Man City game when Aubameyang went out onto the left. Um, I thought he played better. I thought that that was a lot better from him. So. And I reckon if he starts this game against Chelsea at left back with Lacazette up front, I think Aubameyang and the Lacazette are going to score some goals against Chelsea. So I, w- I would definitely go for that. So Lacazette, uh, uh, sorry, Aubameyang goes out onto the left, playing up front as a leading striker is going to be Alexander Lacazette. For me, Lacazette when he came on in the last couple of minutes at Man City, he did really put in a good shift in. Um, he didn't move Arsenal up into a second gear. So, he actually played well. I thought um, Lacazette could have had a chance in scoring a goal against City. Um, but I think Aubameyang and Lacazette have a very, very good partnership when they're both on the pitch at the same time. So, I would like to see that against Chelsea with both of them. So, yeah, Lacazette goes up as a main in stri- as a leading striker. So, guys, there is my one to eleven. Let me you know what to do. Let me know in the comment section below if you agree with my one to eleven, or what you would keep or what you would change. Um, and let me know if you don't agree with my one to eleven. Then let me know in the comment section below um, what your one to eleven is. Um, guys, I am going to do a predicted score for this game now. Morata hasn't been playing that well for Chelsea lately. Hazard has been playing decent. Um, I'm going to be completely honest. Completely, completely honest. Um, I would like to see Arsenal win. And obviously Arsenal to get off to a very, very good start and uh, winning the game. Um, But I'm going to be completely honest. I am going to go with a Chelsea win. Um... I don't know if we are going to win this game. It's going to be very, very tough. The way I saw the lineup, uh, the way if the lineup is right and Aubameyang and Alakas that play on play together, then it's going to be very, very. It's going to be a very, very tough game. I would like to see Arsenal win, um, but in in all honesty, guys, I am going to go with a Chelsea win. Um, I'll go Chelsea two one. Uh, that's the score I'm going with. So, guys. There is my preview. Um, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. If you are new to my channel and you know what to do, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit that thumbs up button and make sure to leave your comments below. Guys, before I end the video, I'm a bit humming and ahhing at the moment. Um, Let me know in the comments if you think I should change my logo for the channel. Um, I am looking... I have actually got a... uh, a logo already lined up um, that I really, really do want to use, um, which I think it's decent and it's better to the logo that we've got now. Um, let me know in the comment section if you think I should change it or if you think I should keep to the current logo to what it is. Um, and I've been I'm in an R in it to change the channel name as well to uh, Gunners TV. Um, so I am kind of. I'm in an orange about those two things, but the logo at the moment is my main one. Guys, let me know in the comment section below if you think I should keep to the current logo or if you think I should change it. Um, as I said, if you did enjoy this video, you know what to do. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, and make sure you leave your comments below. Until next time, guys, come on, Arsenal. I'm out of here.